I'm back, uh, you know, you know how it is. I've been pretty much AWOL the whole week. I'm just, I'm really, I'm really disturbed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sit there and say that uh, not playing the beta didn't affect me. And I, I know that people say they wait till January, but honestly, when you were, were uh, anticipating this beta and you didn't get to play it, it's like, yeah, you know. It's a level of disappointment there, so I just, I didn't make any videos. I'm still kind of disappointed now, but I moved on a little bit. But anyways, uh, today I'm just going to get my thoughts on what I saw again. I didn't play anything, so I really can't say any much. But uh, yeah, my thoughts on what I saw. Uh, and yeah, about these new characters in this uh, scan. So let's just get through the scan first. So the scan. Basically, the scan is... Pretty much confirming that Yamcha's in the game from the rumors. And then we got TN, which is a dead giveaway. If Yamcha's in the game, I'm pretty sure TN is going to be in the game. And then we got this new waifu material, Android 21. Now, I love the community because the community is just like gold. I don't take this stuff too serious. And when a character like this gets announced, just like Toa, and even when 18, she's been around for years. They gonna make fan art of this character, and it's pretty entertaining. Like it's, it might be seen as like clickbait, but to me, it's just really entertaining. I think that uh, these kind of like hentai like photos are very cool, and the people who draw them have a great talent, despite where their minds are. At. But still, uh, I'm gonna be sharing one of my drawings at the end of this video. I didn't color it, but I'm gonna be sharing one of my drawings. It's not of her. It's a let me break her go. I think it looks pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And uh, Android 21 is pretty much a new character designed by Akira Toriyama. And of course she's a female, as you see in the photo, you see that. But yeah, she's a good looking character. And don't know if she's going to be playable, nobody knows. Uh, Arc System hasn't given us any word on it. Bandai, you can't really talk to them, they don't really respond to comments other than, Hey, great job guys. Uh, TN has Chouts as an assist, so it's kind of giving us Chouts without actually giving us Chouts so I'm really stoked about that so we don't have to get a, a pretty useless character from um, Chouts And then Yamcha is, of course he always is in games, pretty good at speed and he's fucking awesome at close range fighting. Hopefully his moves are not useless like Krillin but more designed to actually fight i don't want another character like krillin because krillin is kind of he's a good character but they they screwed him so much on that rock thing like it's it's like it's really dumb at least throw a big freaking rock my god but uh tn looks pretty cool has tri -beam. i think he's gonna have that multi-form technique same as krillin and he also has uh the volleyball fist which is classic Dragon Ball, so TN's looking pretty nice and he's more of a technical character, so we'll see what he's about when the game comes out because I won't be able to play it until uh, the game comes out. So, yeah, and then uh, they're showing Android 21 16 together. Don't know the relationship between these two. A lot of people are anticipating that she is his uh, mother. So, I'm going to Take it as a uh, word that she might be his mother. And if Dr. Jero has got inside that, my man, my daughter, I gotta give you some credit. You may be probably one of the most disgusting models I've ever seen, but you put some work in. So, uh, yeah, uh, Android 21 is, of course, the wild food material. I love the character design. Uh, hopefully, we don't have to pay for her behind a Paywall. Shout out to Bandai for that. You know, they'll make us do that. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully she's in the game day one and we don't have to pay extra money for like $9.99 to play one character. 
and hopefully she makes the story mode pretty interesting. I think a duo between her and Toa would be nice. Uh, if she's just doing it by herself, I don't really know how much she can really combat Goku and Vegeta at the, you know, at the level that they're on now. They're gods, so it has to be some kind of higher power involved if we're going that far where they're in super and they got a god form. Android is just not gonna do. I'm sorry, just not gonna do. So that is pretty much the scan. New waifu, new. Uh, fighters or uh, Z fighters, we'll just call them the new Z fighters, and hopefully we get some gameplay on them soon. It probably won't be for me, it'll probably be for Max and Rhyme and all those guys because those guys got beta codes and it was no shock. So, you know, not hating anything, but I'm kind of salty and I don't give a fuck. I didn't get a beta code. Why? Now, moving off the uh, beta, by the way, I still didn't get a beta code, so bothered about that. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, we also had the beta footage. Now I'm gonna talk about what I see in the beta footage. I'm not gonna play anybody's footage because that will put me in the dangers of copyright and with Bandai and all these other companies, I really can't afford any of that. I'm trying to get paid. So anyways, all right, so there's a lot of talk going around about auto combos. I personally don't see a problem with them. People do them, they're very short, and they don't really do anything. So, it's like people crying about auto combos. I've seen that a lot in uh, streams and the beta. They really bother me, but I'm just saying like, you know, don't cry about something that's not really uh, affecting. If they do auto combo, it's pretty much predictable what they're gonna do next. Block it. There's also this talk going around about Fighters being broken, man. Android 16, man, that's a broken guy right there. He literally is slow as fuck when he grabs you. And the rocket tackle is safe on downward block. So you can automatically go into the heavy launcher. So you can launch him up in the air and start a combo. So it's not really that hard. Uh, people trying to, you know, expose fighters for cheap play and stuff. Uh, uh, people saying Goku is easy. I'm used to that to be honest. People do just do that just to give uh, people discouragement for when they play Goku because they don't like to take that L from the big coup. I see you. Anyways, uh, Goku and Vegeta were savage. People were saying they were easy, whatever. I uh, haven't heard that already. Uh oh, yeah, Max said that. And he probably isn't wrong. They are easy. It's like most of the characters in the game. Because the fighting system is built for a competitive slash casual audience. I've seen some button mashing that actually won people to matches. Then it was, I watched Max stream and he pretty much killed all the button mashers. So I was like, eh, it's there, but it's not really affecting anything. So I'm not gonna pay too much attention to it. However, if that pisses you off, I understand. Just don't make a big deal out of it. Other than that, the Fighters Lobby, let me talk about that. Uh, that system ain't gonna work. Like, waiting all day for a match. I think that was just the beta, but waiting all day for a match, not being able to pick who you wanna fight. Like, if I just got into a fight with somebody who was, you know, playing unfair or like doing something that is a known exploit, I, I sorry, I don't wanna play that guy again. So, matching us up again probably won't happen because I'm not gonna play against him. So, Hopefully we get a better lobby where we can actually pick who we want to fight. Then see the spectator mode because nobody actually tried to spectate people. I think it was in there. Don't don't quote me on that because uh, uh, people didn't really stay on the options for that long. So I think the spectator mode was in there. If it was, nobody didn't look at it. So it's hard to uh, get my opinions on that. But uh, the trial mode. If that is the extent of the CPUs, and they are that freaking easy, Arc System, put some more work in. That ain't working. I don't need test dummies. I need some fighters. So hopefully they get that situation situation cleared up. Hopefully that's just like beta. They want you to jump in and not get owned by the CPU. So um, that was cool. The team ults, like where everybody comes in and does ult. That's just phenomenal. It makes the gameplay look really smooth. 
and it kind of gives you strategies on who you want to put on your team. Like me right now, I'm just thinking like Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, Majin Buu right now, and Frieza. Those guys set up each other so perfectly. I mean, Frieza has like a auto stun in the air that combos into all his super attacks. And probably after that, you can actually call in another assist like Majin Buu and still hit another ultimate because that guy, he got some air time. Uh, so I love the the Frieza, Goku, and Majin Buu characters. They are probably going to be the ones that I run away in the open beta if it is no new characters. If TN and them are in there, I'll probably try. Uh, I'll probably try y'all, I'm sure to be honest. So, the Fighters beta was clutch in that regard. The gameplay is still awesome. I don't hate Fighters, just I didn't get the beta. Uh, Banda has just always had this relationship with me where it's, it's bittersweet. I don't hate them as a company. I think that they do do uh, great work. I just think that they go about things in the wrong way. This closed beta, like, I seen them handing out codes to some people and it was like, really? I'm right here. I, I really want to play this game. I make videos on it. You don't see it? Oh, like, uh, I even tweeted them on uh, Twitter. I was, I was like, I need a code. I, I didn't get one. I canceled all my plans. And no code. So, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I guess I'm not, I'm not special. Yeah, I'm not special. Anyways. Other than that, final thoughts on the beta. As far as fighting, the fighting system is a 9 out of 10. The only thing I don't like about the fighting system is that with characters like, uh, with characters like, Android 16 and Majin Buu. Some of them are only used as exploits, like Majin Buu's finisher, the uh, the damn uh, explosion. People don't pick him unless they just want to spam that. And I think that the game should not go in that direction. I think that if you're gonna pick a character, at least have some kind of synergy. Don't just pick them just because they got like a fucking crazy ass ult. And then Majin Buu also has this combo where he can go in a cookie beam and it's no nerf on the damage, so hopefully they patch it up because people are going to be spamming that combo. Um, 16, just a, you know, just a normal uh, visibility on that self-destruct, but it's so slow. To be honest, guys, you can jump up and he won't grab you. You can jump up near him, he won't grab you, or you can air dash towards him and he can't grab you in there because he only aims towards the ground. So if you're not on the ground, you're pretty much safe. And it's a little bit slow, so if you're hitting, as long as you're not mashing buttons, you can sort of backstep. Uh, anything else I noticed? The only thing else I noticed is that I wasn't in the beta. Not only me, it was a lot of other people who probably wouldn't have gotten the beta if they didn't get some generous codes. Uh, hopefully next time there's no codes involved and I will be pre-ordering, so hopefully I just get in automatically and this tragedy ends and I actually finally get to touch fighters and get my first impressions and hands-on thoughts instead of just talking shit. But that is gonna be pretty much the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this fan art. This fan art is fucking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. The people who do this stuff, despite where their minds are at, they are savage. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you guys next time. Enjoy the picture that I drew. Next time, I'll actually color it. And until next time, my friends. Fair. Well. I won't forgive you. You stole my blood. And you killed my family. Oh, I'm Pikmin. 
I'm really serious now. I won't forgive you!